This conference will now be recorded. This conference Hello. will now be recorded. Hello. Yes, uh, we discussed on wave management yeah. with manual. I'm sorry. Yes, we discussed on wave management manual indicator. Manual. What is manual? There is, I mean, there are two ways for this wave order creation, right? Uh, I mean, hmm. we have discussed three, three different types, right? One is an automatic, immediate, and manual. Yes, yes. An immediate and manual, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, automatic one is a background job, which is a basically where we can schedule it, right? So these are the ones which we have discussed last time. But after that, we thought of discussing about the transportation units, right? Yes. Which is about the third, basically. Yeah. So we will try to have an overall transportation unit and the yard management one today, and we'll try to configure probably. If not, we will see this, basically. Okay. Now, uh, what exactly a transportation unit refers to, guys? Anyone, any idea? Hello? What what it does and what exactly it performs? Hello? Uh, transportation unit means uh, which is uh, required to deliver the goods to the uh, customer. So, uh, uh, um, I mean, what type of packaging we are using to deliver that product to the end, end customer? Okay. So, I don't know. Transportation unit like. Uh, you know, like uh, to, to execute the STO between uh, the distribution center and uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I said uh, the distribution center, uh, the execute the transportation or the STO between the distribution center and the uh, retail store, for example. The drive, please, please go ahead. Yes, this is what I said. I said uh, uh, this one. To... Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm maybe I'm. Uh, I cannot speak. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Sorry okay, about no it. Problem. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we can't but hear your voice. Transport. No, in between your voice is breaking. Uh, it's the same to me as well, Sri. Uh, I the, your voice is like cracking in between.
hello uh yes Ria, we can hear you yeah sorry man yeah, so, internet is fluctuating since from because i was not in my place so what to do okay can you see my screen at least now guys let me know uh yes you can see okay no problem guys okay now this particular transportation unit whatever we are trying to do this is a combination of your both vehicle and the container this is what we are trying to see now when i'm talking about this vehicle and the container what is that particular container is referring to basically this is also one type of a handling unit agree with that guys hello so this particular one type of a handling unit means this is just a combination of a vehicle and a container now this container also we will treat it as a one handling unit or we will treat it as a multiple handling units in the case one if you see this here this is one handling unit I agree because the whole container we will treat it as one hu if it is in the second case the vehicle is having two handling units I agree with that mohan karthik and nicholas hello yes uh, Sri. okay I agree yeah. okay yeah. let me know if in case if you're not able to listen my audio guys please okay because i have to rejoin again that's the reason i'm confirming every time okay now this particular transportation unit whatever we are trying to do here this container can have one hu or a multiple handling units whatever it is okay now the tu whatever we are trying to see here okay this is nothing but this is a handling unit with a product handling unit what is this HU with the product HU guys? Can anyone tell me? Karthik and Mohan and Nicholas means this is a HU with a product HUs. Means what does that mean? Mm. Is it anything like just like VAS? No, 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 no. Means this is a one kind of a handling unit where we will have our product handling units in that right we will carry some handling units in that right it this can't be I mean, like that could be a single product or it could be a multiple product handling units in that right basically yeah okay no i didn't get that i believe okay in the sense you're not clear right means no, but, uh, normally uh, uh, sorry go ahead Mohan. Hmm. no Actually, from the warehouse, we'll pick the uh, products and we'll pack it in a certain handling units. Mm. Then that product handling units, we are keeping it in the container to deliver to the maybe customer or distribution center or it's something. Not only in the case of an outbound, right? Even in the case of an inbound, you'll be receiving your pallets or you'll be receiving your products, whatever it is, in a container, right? So what does that mean? We are treating the transportation unit also a kind of a handling unit here like what it's a combination of your vehicle and a container right now the container is itself is a one handling unit now what does i mean the container is, is nothing but it's a combination of a one hu which is a container and the product handling units it means obviously you'll have a products in that right inside that particular container agree yes that's what i'm trying to say here you see here tu HU is a product HUs. I agree now this particular statement. What I'm trying to say, Karthik. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Now, there are two different activities we always discuss about here. One is about the transportation unit and the other one is about your yard management, guys. Okay. Now, as of now, we will see what is the transportation unit. Now, transportation unit... <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it's nothing but it's a com. It's the shipping and receiving is normally we'll call it as a shipping and receiving and the yard management. There are two different activities here. To you, which is of not tracking the physical movements of the HU. Now, if I'm referring to HU, this is a TU guys. Just just remember that. Or the TU, which is a tracking the physical movements. That is the yard movement. Now, what is the physical movements of a truck? Basically, what I'm trying to talk about here. Now, let's take a simple example. Like, I uh, hope everyone drives a car. So, what do you do when exactly when you reach your home in a car? Uh, what exactly we do, guys? What activities we basically do? 
we will i mean if there are any um, bags which we do have we will remove them and we will okay. park the car in the garage mm. okay so that's the first thing we do or we first thing is we entry the gate okay enter the gate yeah we enter the gate we'll park the car and then we'll go out right that's yes. what the activity right the same yes. way even in the yard management the first thing is it's the check in point obviously right we'll have a check in and check out because whenever the truck is coming inside your warehouse we will physically verify what kind of goods was that and what kind of from which vendor and obviously what are the other things we see uh, like uh, what we have yeah so vendor and what goods and which gate basically these are the three activities what the warehouse clerk does in the checkout point check in points or checkout points so what happens here first is the truck enters the gate so is that the first activity right so as okay. soon as we enter the gate okay what happens if there are no free parking I mean like free doors are not available then what happens we will park it basically in the parking area so we will make the truck to wait for the parking so in the parking what happens once we have the free doors available then we will move the truck to this particular door agree guys so this is all the tracking of a physical movements of the hu right means the, the vehicle first activity is check in second activity is parking and the third activity is assigning it to the door so all these three activities whatever we are trying to do it's it's about a tracking of a physical movement of the truck agree so we will execute all the transactions in the system and then we will track where exactly the truck is this is what the activity is what we do in the yard management but the same way when it comes to your shipping and receiving one you will not track or you will not trace all these activities we will simply assign the truck to the door doesn't matter. we will not even check in we will not do the parking anything so it's only simply assigning the truck to the door okay and unloading or loading activities will happen there that is what the difference between the shipping and receiving which is about the physical movements of not tracking it and the transportation unit tracking the physical movements this is what the both the things which we are going to discuss here clear now mohan kartik and uh, malik nicolas yes 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 sir. Yeah? yeah now in the shipping and receiving which is nothing but your uh, the simple one the shipping and receiving make sure that guys if your business is asking for the yard management one you cannot use the shipping and receiving if your business is asking for your shipping and receiving you can't use the yard management one why because it's both related here you have to deactivate and activate when we are trying to either you can make use of shipping and receiving or you can you have to make use of the yard management either this or that okay please make sure that now this particular shipping and receiving whatever we are trying to do here we will first thing is we will assign the door manually to the transportation unit remember this either you will perform your unloading or your loading activities or whatever it is we will assign the door manually to the transportation unit and we will perform the activities but when it comes to a yard management one that door will be assigned automatically okay because of the activities whatever we are performing there the door will be automatically will be assigned getting it guys or any questions am i clear oh no i can continue see so, yeah. yes now let me come to the configuration wise what exactly we do have here now if you remember that guys <sighs> sorry the transportation units okay sorry before we go into the transportation units we remember that in the complex outbound we have seen the steps in the storage process what are those steps guys Anyway. storage pro storage process we will have uh, i mean number of steps which we perform uh, like yes. ib0102 no 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 OB no kartik ob01 remember that okay simple thing yeah yeah same transfer inbound or o o transfer outbound yeah that's it yeah i yeah. transfer inbound and o stands for outbound right because yeah. yes yeah. no problem so here what happens is 
uh, in the inbound, we will not have the loading step or unloading step because unloading step is IB01 for us in inbound. We already saw, saw that actually. But in the outbound, the loading step is OB04, guys. Okay, so OB01, OB02, OB03, and OB04. So, which is for the loading step means what? Picking, staging, sorry, sorry. Picking, packing, staging, and then loading, right? So, these are the four activities which we will be seeing here. Okay, now before we proceed doing all these things, we need to make sure that what kind of uh, the activities or what kind of uh, the configurations were required in the system so in that particular scenario we will be checking that what is our means of transport the first thing okay means what does that mean means of transport in the sense like what kind of a vehicle we will be using for your transportation in your warehouse whether it could be your uh, truck or whether it could be your big size truck, 40 feet or 20 feet or whatever the feet containers you'll be using it there, or you'll be using a small vehicle. So all these things, that's a means of transport. And the other thing is mode of transportation you'll be having, whether it could be a road or rail or air or whatever it is, what is a mode of transportation. And top of that, we will be activating the shipping and receiving activities for our warehouse. As I said that, Either you can use this or either you can use the yard management. It's not both the things we can use parallelly, either this or that. Now, if you remember that, guys, what is the packed material we have used earlier in our normal handling units, which we're using in the warehouse, guys? It was what was the handling unit? Pack 46. Oh, yeah, that's a packing. Uh, that's what, okay, whatever. The pack 46 or whatever. But what was the packaging material type? It does, that was a carton, right? Carton, okay. But now we need to create a new handling unit again. Obviously, the packaging material can't be a carton here. The packaging material, whatever we are trying to use, that should be your truck. container. Yeah, that's container, what it could yeah. be truck or a container or whatever we have. You have to make use of that. Now, means ideally, we have to create a new handling unit again. Clear, guys? Yeah, yeah. Because the packaging material is different here now. We can't use a carton and we can't use a handling unit. It's the same what we have in the warehouse. Agree? Kartik and everyone. Agree. Agree, Strick. Okay. So that is the one thing which we have, which we have to create in, and we have to make sure that. And once we have assigned and once we have did with that, now, okay, this is how the TU creates and all. Let me just get into the system and then we'll see that now. So first thing is we have to first assign the storage process, guys, okay? This can be done even in the outbound or even in the inbound, doesn't matter, guys, okay? Either this or that, doesn't matter. <clears throat> now do you remember what is the storage process we were using there guys cross process c o u 2 z o u okay because we need to add an extra step to that. That's the reason. Now, what is my warehouse? WM46, right, guys? ZOU2. Now, this particular one step is OB04. So, what is that particular OB04? That stands for the loading step. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay. OB04 step. Okay. That's the first thing. Now, what I would like to do here is now let me go to the other things cross cross settings, shipping and receiving. Okay. General settings. First, deactivate it. So, I've obviously, I don't want to deactivate it at this stage. Oh, it's already deactivated. Okay. I don't want to because I want to activate this one, guys, now. Okay. So, I have activated this. Parallelly, we need to make sure that 
the yard management was not activated because we can't use both the things this is activated so i have to deactivate this okay you're getting it so either you can use the shipping and receiving or either you can use the yard management either this or that you cannot have both the things parallel guys okay but once you're using the yard management one you have to activate and you have to deactivate that make sure it okay general settings now what, what, what exactly is the difference between the shipping and receiving and the ad management actually i'm sorry uh -huh, sorry no here uh, what is the main difference between uh, shipping and receiving when compared to the ad management that's what i said right shipping and receiving no, even, uh, a small confusion in that that is why can you just once again tell me okay not tracking the physical movements of the truck is called for the shipping and receiving we will directly create and we'll assign the transportation units to the doors or to the deliveries but coming to the yard okay. management one you'll have a different configuration and you'll completely have a different activities all over you'll still use it to use but the check-in check-out and all these activities will be extra for that okay oh, okay sir okay that's the reason because if the system mm -hmm. has to understand whether you're using a shipping and receiving or whether you're using a yard management one because you can't use both the things parallelly that's what i'm trying to say here because in the yard management and what happens you'll have another two to three different transactions extra and you have to perform the activities there like we have to first do the check-in and then we have to move it to the parking and then we have to move it to the door so that's a different activity but when it comes to a shipping and receiving you need to perform all these activities directly assign it to the door that's it okay just create yes, the and transportation and i'm sorry oh. yes and this uh, ad management tracking of vehicle movement in the sense once it is up to the uh, leaving the door right from the warehouse mm -hmm. up to that only ad management will cover mm, yes once right. it is going once it is going out of the uh, i mean gate then that's it up to the okay. management will cover right okay. yeah that's all yard is completely which is outside of the warehouse right whatever the activities which we are performing outside your warehouse that will call it as a yard management okay outside of the warehouse in the sense once the goods is delivered from the warehouse from that time the ad management will cover or in inside of the warehouse when we pack the goods one second one second please hold on whatever the activities we are performing inside your warehouse in the sense whether it could be a picking packing or your internal moments that comes here inside your warehouse outside your warehouse in the sense your parking your yard or whatever it is that is your outside your warehouse that's what you'll call it as a yard management one okay so how effectively you are planning your trucks and how effectively you are uh, planning your vehicles that is what which we will talk about the yard that's it okay, okay. now tell me Oh, what is the question? Yeah, uh, I heard the question. Outside, in the sense, I, I, I mean, I thought it's outside of the entire our premises. No, no, no. Yard in the sense, what? Mm -hmm. It's just a kind of an outside your warehouse in the sense, what kind of an vehicles or your because normally yard will be somewhere at two to two to three kilometers away from the warehouse. If you go for the bigger companies or something, okay. Yes, yes, sir. So where the, all the trucks will be just uh, exactly. standing so there to you, pick them. Yeah. So all the trucks and all, how effectively you are uh, planning your vehicles and all that. So there, if you want to have a track of it, that as well, that is where the yard management comes into the picture. If you do not want to have, because normally SAP always, I mean like EWM always, they want to go ahead with the third party integration tools. They don't want to use the existing yard management, but some cases they're using it by enhancing the futures or whatever. If not, sometimes what happens is they'll use a third party tools where it gives an automated information such as vehicle is where and what happens and all. Okay. So now even we have and something called as an yard logistics, a different module for that completely, which is only to integrate your yard. So that's what yeah. that's completely a different, different things. Guys. Okay. So basically yeah. with outside the warehouse, that's it. Simple thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Now where am I? Oh, I was just uh, doing in the system. Okay, now I said that we need to activate and deactivate. So this is what the first thing. Now, uh, 
ശ്രീ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഡസൻറ്റ് ഹാവ് പ്രയോറിറ്റി ഏതർ വൺ ഷുഡ് ബി ആക്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഡസൻറ്റ് ഹാവ് എനി പ്രയോറിറ്റി ആർ സംതിങ് ഹൗ വി ആർ ട്രൈങ് ടു ഡിഫറൻഷിയേറ്റ് ദി സിസ്റ്റം ദൻ ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ദി തിങ് ഇസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദി സിസ്റ്റം നീഡ്സ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് യു ആർ ട്രൈങ് ടു ഡു ഇഫ് യു ആർ യൂസിംഗ് എ ഷിപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് റിസീവിംഗ് ദൻ ഇറ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ്സ് ദാറ്റ് യു വിൽ ബി ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് എ ടി യു ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ ബി അസൈനിംഗ് സംതിങ് എൽസ് ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ആക്ടിവേറ്റിംഗ് എ ആഡ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ദെർ ആർ സം സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ബി മാൻഡേറ്റഡ് ടു ബി ഡൺ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ദിസ് നോ അതർ തിങ് so the system oh. has to understand right so for that reason there is an option of deactivating and activating it that's it okay 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 now first thing let me create some master data guys okay okay first thing is the maintain transportation mode these are the standard ones apart from this we will not have any other specific mode of transportation so i be i'm leaving as it is i'm not creating anything there now define means of transport now okay i'll create one means of transport so maybe some kind of a truck what happened here shit okay so now wm46 hyphen truck is my means of transport however i'm not creating anything in the yard management as of now we'll see that tomorrow okay if time permits or maybe after that here what i'm trying to do now yeah, under the cross cross settings general settings okay define control parameters first thing is okay Okay, 33% is there. Because I left my charger in the office yesterday. Now, okay. My means of transport is WM46 hyphen truck guys. Okay, this is the first thing. Now, this is a vehicle or whatever you want to put it in, that's fine. Now, the number range, because for a truck, you will be having a unique number. for that reason we will be giving what is your number ranges for that and obviously we will try to have of uh, this particular one action profile this is the one which we will discuss that in the ppf case basically okay this is the one which we will be discussing that in the ppf okay what happened then sister is not seeing okay so let me save this okay so now this particular transportation unit whatever we have we have created and we have maintained and we have assigned it a specific action profile however these are all the tu profiles and uh, i mean like there are multiple things here i'll show you at the time of creating the tus and all which we do not require at this stage okay now the first thing is we need to make sure that as i told you we have to create this thing what is that the packing material right now the packing material the packing material type should be the truck or a container basically now what we will do we will try to make use of the existing one guys whatever we have okay now where is this one yes handling units we'll have this in the logistics general okay and we will have this in the handling unit management basics okay define package material types now this is what i was trying to refer here you see this there's something called as a container and this thing aggregates hello hello yes sir yes sir go yes, ahead okay fine yeah so this is a packaging material type if you want to create your own packaging material type you can make use of it guys now as of now i'll make use of the standard one which is a 0002 okay let me see this 0002 is there okay 0002 group also is there they find because the same configuration what we have done uh, for uh, the thing one guys so i'm just trying to use this one 
triple zero two to triple zero two. Fine then. Okay. Let me check whether we have the same thing in the EWM system also. What is this one? External errors management. Yeah. Here. Basics. Come on. Okay, we have triple zero two. That's what I want. Means of transport only. Okay, fine. Now what I'll do is I'll take a steel pack, okay? So I don't require all this stuff, guys, okay? okay. So purchasing all this is not required for me. Now here accounting, accounting, one dental data, okay. So WM46, okay? So here, okay, I believe our storage location is 1030, right, guys? Uh, 1030. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> TPO. System not responding. What? Okay. So material group is triple zero two, okay. Packaging material type also yes, that's the one we have used. I'm sorry, with this material type is packaging. This is what you say. Ah, huh, that's what right. Triple zero two is the container which we are trying to use here, right? Yeah. Okay. If you want, you can create your own. If you remember the handling and it's whatever we have maintained, the same thing here. There's nothing much strange on. The only thing is the packaging material type differs. We have used carton for the warehouse, but for the containers and all, we will be using the uh, means of transport. That's only the difference we have, okay? All right. Yeah. Okay, so WM46 hyphen TU pack is the kind of a packing material which I've used here, guys. Okay, now, first thing is we are trying to use this in the outbound scenario. Okay, mostly. I'll try to show you the inbound for the yard management and outbound for the shipping and receiving. So, both the cases we will see how it works in the inbound and as well as the outbound. Now, if you want to see for the outbound one, guys, the first thing is we need to have the doors for that. Agree? Hello? Yes. So yes, basically, yes. the doors we have created for the inbound, if you remember that. For the outbound, I believe, I don't think so. We have created it. So, master data here, warehouse door. Okay, I'm trying to define the warehouse doors here. Okay. So WM46 door, okay. Uh, okay, so now I'll make use of door three and door four. Okay, outbound 
and this is the one 9020 and 9020 okay these are the two things which we are trying to make use of it here 9020 is also what it's a staging area for the outbound right guys so door 3 i'm trying to use here which i'm already having it so assign staging area door determination groups i'm not trying to do because this is a concept which we have used in the complex inbound for the staging area and the door determination so only simple thing is what i'll do i'll try to create the bins for that doors and the storage type if you remember that 36 not 46 46 wm46 it's door 3 okay my system is taking some time to respond yeah storage type would be what 9040 this is for the goods issue doors right because it's not for the inbound for the inbound what is the storage type guys 9030 right 30 yeah 30 yeah that's a door 4 because i'm i had two different doors so why am i creating this because we are trying to load it when you are trying to load it obviously what happens we have to load to a specific door agree kartik and mohan hello, hello. yes yes Yes, yes. So when we are trying to do that, what happens there? Because we need to have a specific door for that, right? Hello? Uh, Sri? Sri, we lost you probably. Hello? Yeah. He yeah, was just connected, maybe. He he's always have a problem with the Wi-Fi, I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah, he told that he is in some other place, right? Might be the reason. Yeah. Maybe those are things. Maybe is the Wi-Fi only work for a minute? Thirty minutes Wi-Fi. So Naveen is there in the call? Naveen? Hello? Naveen? I, I guess he is not in the call. Okay. Let's, ping, uh, let's ping them in WhatsApp. Okay.
guys i guess uh, uh, we have a sri has a network issue and uh, his network went down it seems then it would be only tomorrow the class will be proceeding okay okay right karthik okay thank you navin thank you hello ganapati yep ganapati yeah cool. yeah you're also from us yeah i am mm -hmm. okay 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 right. i think many people are from us yeah, in this class ew ah uh, i guess uh, this is a batch mm -hmm. of us <laughs> yes, probably yes. Uh, at least i am the person from india i guess none of them are from <laughs> um, okay you will also soon you will come go to the us <laughs> um, okay okay fine fine okay see you guys then tomorrow uh, see you guys bye bye